Why, hello there. I'm Jen, just got back from grocery shopping, and I got not one but two boxes of wine. Somebody had requested that I review the Aldi boxed wine. So here I am with Winky Nell's Red Blend. Here we go. In full disclosure, I've been drinking Winky Nell for almost 10 years now, but only recently have I picked up the boxed version, and let me tell you, it is a value. I paid $10.89 per box. Now each box, again, is the equivalent of four bottles of wine. Yeah, it's a lot of wine in here. And uh, let me tell you about it. It is a California red. It is 12% alcohol by volume. Not surprisingly, it comes from California. It is medium dry, light and fruity. Notes, medium bodied red wine with smooth, well-rounded finish, ripe berries and red fruit with hints of black cherry adding depth and richness. Oh yeah. Food recommendations include grilled or oven roasted meats, spicy dishes, or rich red pasta sauces. I've definitely drank this with pasta and with SpaghettiOs too. Temperature best served lightly chilled. I'll have to remember that because I've never done that. And in fact, I just noticed it says refrigerate after opening, which is something I don't do. On the bottom, it also lists the year it was packed, which is 2016. Good year right there. That's the sign of quality, right? All right, so if you haven't ever really tried boxed wine, the good thing is you only need a glass. You don't need a corkscrew, which, you know, comes in handy. The process for opening this one is gonna be pretty much exactly the same as the Walmart wine I reviewed in a previous video, if you'd like to see. All right, here we go. I'm trying to perforate this thing. I always like to be as neat as I can. My husband, not so much. He doesn't really care. But I don't know, there's something about it. I just want to be kind of neat. I don't know. All right, let's try to... All right, this one is... This one's kind of a... Kind of a bear here. All right. Ugh. Jeez. All right, here we go. Um, oh, man. All right, I sort of bent the uh, box a little bit, but that's okay. All right, let me take out the disc here. Obviously won't be needing this. Pull out the pour spout here. Oh, boy, this one... Let me try to... Actually, it kind of helps if you hold it like this, hold it kind of on the side, just so you can pull the spout and you won't get, I don't know, hopefully it's not as messy. I'm just trying to keep this as, keep it in neat here. All right, so you put the spout in this little space here and then put the cardboard behind it. There we go. All right, this one does have a little tab on here, so just pull that, just pour. I'm only gonna have a little bit here. Winky Nall is actually one of my favorite boxed wines. I love reds, and uh, this one is, again, very reasonably priced, budget-friendly, and uh, I think it's definitely, in my opinion, slightly better than the Walmart wine, so the Oak Leaf vine Vineyard. So I think this is slightly better. On a scale of one to 10, I would give this one a, I'm gonna give this a 7.5. Of course, for value, 10 out of 10. For taste, I'm gonna give this one a, uh, a seven. Solid seven for the taste alone. But all combined, all of the factors, I would give this a 7.5. That's my final verdict on the Winking Owl Red Blend. And let me tell you why. There are slightly more tannins in this wine than the Walmart Oakley Vineyards. I just kind of like the taste better. I don't know, it's not as vinegary as the Walmart wine and it's a bit smoother. It's also not as like earthy as other wines I've tried. I'm not really a big fan of earthy wines in general, although my husband really is. So that's where we differ in our wine palette. But uh, I, I like this one, I, I buy this all the time. Clearly I do, in fact, I just went to Aldi and literally the only thing I bought there was two boxes of wine. So I'm a fan, if you're looking for a boxed wine that doesn't break the bank, this is definitely it. Look, no further people. This is the one. This is great with steak. This is great with pasta. Again, SpaghettiOs. I've eaten this with all kinds of red meat. It's a delicious addition to your next dinner party. If you've also tried this wine, let me know in the comments what you think of it. Also, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Aldi. What other wines have you tried there that you enjoy? And if there's one that you want me to try in a future episode that's like under 20 bucks, let me know and I may do it. I'm Jen. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to Jen Talks Forever for more videos just like this one.